Hello friends, good morning all of you. Today we are going to discuss about the MDS. MDS means Multi Domain Server. As we did the practical in CCSA, two tier and three tier installation, in which we required one server and one firewall pair for every office. If we have 10 offices, then we require 10 management server, 10 checkpoint firewall, and 10 smart dashboard. After that, we can make the security. Now, in MDS feature, checkpoint come out to reduce the load of every management server. Checkpoint is a first company that introduced virtualized in 2001. In MDS, we can virtualize management server just like VMware. Physically, we will use only one management server, but logically, we will segregate this physical machine to a multiple virtual machine. For example, we have three sites in different countries. To reduce the cost of management server, we can implement MDS server. We will use one management server and divide it into three management servers. One policy that is install one management server will be totally separate other virtual management server. Physically, this is one management server and they will use separate smart dashboard console and every console is separate to other smart dashboard console. This is the benefits of MDS. Now, we are going to discuss about other benefits. Number one, reduce the cost. With the help of MDS, we can reduce the cost of infrastructure in our company. Before implementing MDS, we required three management server but after MDS, we need to purchase only one management server. In place of three management server, we require only one management server that will manage all three servers. Number two, main power resources saving. Before implementing MDS, we required minimum three engineers to take care of management servers. After implementing of MDS, only one engineer can take care of all three management servers. And number three, space saving. We require temperature maintained space for server and firewall. If we have 100 sites in all over the world, then we require 100 servers as well as need temperature maintained space to put these servers. When we use MDS, we don't require too much space for this server because we can virtualization and can reduce the number of server. This is the benefits of MDS. Now we can see the see this scenario and according to scenario we have to implement this practical. But this setup is too big so we need at least i3 or more than i3 systems after that we will we will able to perform this practical now see our scenario according to scenario we have to perform this practical now see check the diagram first According to diagram, now check the object, what we are going to do this lab.
configure the primary MDS server. First of all, we require to configure the MDS primary server. So C configure two sites H customer A and customer B. After that, configure two virtual machines for customer A, one for customer A site, one and second for customer B. H this diagram Now you can see here firewall 1 and firewall 2. You can see in this diagram there are two, three firewalls firewall 1, firewall 2, and firewall 3. Now configure two virtual firewall for customer B, firewall 3, one for customer B site and one for customer B site 2. After that configure backup MDS server. After it configured, now see what are the steps we need to perform this practical. Now see, this is our text message. First create 3 Kaya machine with 1 GB hard disk. One for primary MDS, one for secondary MDS server and third for MLM server. Create 3 Kaya machine with 50 GB hard disk and uh, Eight network infra interface card. One for firewall one and second for firewall two. Customer A. Define the IP address of all Gaia machine according to diagram. Now take the access of all Gaia machine one by one through the window seven and run HTTPS command and install the checkpoint components according to this diagram. Now see the steps. I 
I completed phase 1 and installed 3 gear machine for MDS server. Backup, backup MDS server and MLM server. And I install three firewall also. Let us So UIP address, check it. Login system after dash apply so configuration. You can see after press space bar key or enter key IP address is configured properly You can find here all the configuration of IP address. It has been done. Now come to phase two. You can see here the text message in phase two. Configure primary MDS server. Open the smart dashboard. A smart domain manager for Windows 7. Now create two domain on primary MDS server as customer A and customer B. Now let us do the Complete phase two. And configure primary MDS server. And define two domain as customer A and customer B. Open a smart domain manager. Click on yes. Enter IP address. Range of IP address 192.168.111. After that, click on New Domain. And enter name of the domain customer A 
pad mds1 after that get ip address from the range and click next It will take 5 to 10 minutes to do the configuration. Now it has been completed. Now see here. and check settings you can see here customer A is getting to configure Now it has been started. Now we are going to create and add new domain customer B. After that, click on add, select MDS. After that, get IP address from the range and click next. It will take some time to complete the process. Now data are synchronizing. Now it's showing waiting. In real time scenario, it will take 10 to 12 hours to synchronize the data. After completing the process, it's showing started. You can see. Customer A started and customer B is waiting.
Now meanwhile we have to check md start and apply command md start and you can also see here which process is going on Now create two domain or primary server. Meanwhile, we have to do next step because we did phase two and create two domain on MDS as customer. A and customer B. Now let us start phase three. Now in phase 3, configure virtual firewall and establish HA between firewall 1 and firewall 2. HA means high availability. Create the VSX cluster and define both firewall as a member of VSX cluster. Now launch open domain manager and launch a smart dashboard. You can see here on dashboard, click on checkpoint, VSX, Now enter customer A cluster and IP address. Enter the VSX cluster IP version 4 address 192.168.1.150. After that, enter operating system R77.20. After that, press next, enter name of the firewall 1 and cluster member IP address 192.68.1.100 and enter activation key, confirm activation key. 
okay after that press next and press next another one now enter firewall 2 and IP address 192.168.200 1.200 after that activation key 1234 and next press next after that select Ethernet 7 and enter firewall address 172.168.1.1 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Now let us start. You can see here according to scenario we have to put the IP address Ethernet 7. This is Ethernet 7. Now, firewall 2, you have to enter IP address 172.168.1.2 and net mask is 2.5.2.5.2.5.0. After that, select next and uncheck all services once again check all services except at the bottom of this page now click on next Now it has been finished. Now press next. Now once again see scenario. We create VSX cluster. Now I am going to create virtual firewall. to virtual firewall first firewall for cluster A site 1 and cluster 2 cluster A site Cluster is site 2. Now see here. Now click on install policy and yes.
now click on close after that checkpoint cluster checkpoint and select vsx after that virtual system enter name of the virtual system customer a site 1 firewall now select ethernet port according to the scenario this diagram is basically MDS super lab including this diagram it has MDS and VSX clustering now enter select Ethernet 2 and enter IP address 20.1.1.10 and subnet mask 2.5.2.5.2.5.0 after that another IP address and click on next Now installation process is going on. Once again see this scenario. You can see virtual system cluster creation process. Now click on close button. After that, in a smart dashboard, click on file menu. After that, click on new and click on OK. Now enter name of the policy package Now click next Now click on file menu, select policy package target, okay. now create new rule, after it click on install policy. Now click on close button, open file menu and policy package target management after that click on checkpoint and 
Online Virtual System, Enter Name of the Virtual System. Custom is site 2. Now select Ethernet according to diagram. Now press the length interface inside and outside and entering the IP address after replace one next Now process is going on. We have to wait to complete the installation. Now click on finish button. Once again, enter new virtual system name. Cluster A. After it, press on, press on next. Once again, click on checkpoint. File menu. Now see here. This is the steps. Now close it. One second, see scenario. Now it has been done. After that, now a start. Step at you can see a highlighted point. According to this, we have to perform this practical. Now we have to configure. First of all, launch a smart dashboard, enter IP address,
now a smart dashboard has been opened it is similar as three tier dashboard now you can see here click on checkpoint and you have to configure vsx enter name of the vsx clustering type You have to select after that enter activation key which was created during installing firewall or server. You have to select all except at the bottom point. After that, click on yes. VSX Gateway Creation Process It will take some time to complete the process. So we have to keep patience to complete this process. This practical is Super MDS. It covers MDS as well as PSX clustering. So you have to do all the steps according to the notebook and scenario. This process has been completed. Now we are going to create policy you have to see after creating the policy click on install policy now installation process is going on Now, policy installation completed. Now, we are going to create virtual system. Now, virtual system network configuration
basically this diagram is VSX as well as MDS now select interface to this is external and its IP address according to scenario and net mask after that this is internal interface and enter IP address of this Ethernet port and uh, net mask according to scenario now click next after that virtual system gateway creation process is going on you can see here installation process is going on step by step we have to configure all the virtual system gateway this practical is based on the VMware in a real time scenario it will take too much times to complete the process now creation process has been completed now you can see here we are going to do next step after that new policy package you have to create new policy package enter name of the policy package now you can see here select customer A after that we have to create at least one policy and click on install policy now installation process is going on now you can see this step virtual system enter name of the once again you have to select next ethernet after that enter IP address
now once again click on file menu and click on yes after that new policy package enter name of this is the policy and after that click on install policy you can see here a step by step all the configuration is nearly about to completed once again see now this process has been completed now we are going to do ninth step According to notebook, you can perform this practical step by step. Verification this is the verification dialog box. So we have to read Now you can see here, this is the verification. You can see text message. Firewall 1 is active and Firewall 2 is standby. Now we have to do step 2 You can see here 
this is our Windows 2003 server this Windows used for verification now apply ping command 20.1.1.1 minus t reply is coming it has been verified and traffic is passing properly it has been done now do step 3 you can see here highlighted point according to this highlighted point we have to perform this practical now close this window now you can see here only one RTO is available means time requested out after turn off active firewall only one RTO is available requested time out after that a stand firewall is on active condition now you can see the text message it has done now, now firewall 2 became active and firewall is firewall 1 is on turn off condition now let us do step 4 now we are going to transfer the data Now 2000, 2003 service is turning on. Now open 2003 server According to requirement, you can set the screen size. It depends on your visibility. Now close dialog box.
now enter IP address of this system according to scenario you have to do same practical in your PC enter IP address on this PC twenty dot one dot one dot one Subnational 2.5.2.5.2.5.0 and get where this is 20.1.1.11. Now apply cmd command and ping 40.1.1.1 space minus t. You can see here reply is not coming. Now you have to do the setting. Now it is on net network. You have to select VM net. Always remember that. You have to select network, perfect network, otherwise you will be not able to pass the traffic from inside to outside. You can see here in this diagram. Now apply ping command. Now you can see here reply is coming. Before that reply was not coming due to NET and AT network address translation setting. After changing the network VM net reply is coming. A step four is done. Now See the steps. We have to power on this machine. It will take some time. Meanwhile, we have to do other setting. If your system configuration is very high, like 16 GB RAM, i7 or i5 processor, then you can turn on more than 10 PC on VMware. Otherwise, you can do a step by step all that practicals but it will take more time to perform this practical so you have to perform this practical a step by step You can see this is another 2003 server window 
as we did this previous practical we have to do same setting but IP address would be changed according to scenario Now enter IP address. Range of IP address. After that, click OK. You have to select BMNet. After that, You can see here now login before login you have to see once again Now, see here, now we have to select BMNet 7, and You can see according to scenario we have to select VMNet if any VMNet is wrong then traffic will be not passed so you have to perform this practical according to vmnet according to diagram now login window And pass the traffic. Apply ping command. Now you can see here reply is not coming. So there may be some mistake in setting. Now enter IP address 10.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 
after that gateway address and close window now apply pin command you can see here reply is coming now you can see step 5 has been completed now last step 6 now we are going to do the last step step 6 so after this step all practical will be completed 2003 server is starting set bm net in place of net Now see here In a login system inside and outside Now enter IP address of this machine and net mask. After it, close this window. Now enter IP address of this machine Now apply ping command 
now reply is coming now your practical has been completed thank you